Oh, hi there, everybody. You caught me reading my copy of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. This was the first book in the Harry Potter series, and it was in the news recently because of Mr. Harry Potter. Yes, this is the real Harry Potter. At least he has the same name as the character from the book. And uh, he was in this article from the BBC because he sold his first edition copy in an auction for over £27,000. That's a lot of money. OK, so I've made a, a lesson today about this story. Let's go through it together. We have vocabulary, uh, a shorter version of the article, a quiz, a conversation, and some discussion questions. Are you ready? Good. OK, vocabulary, please repeat. To realise. And that means to, to understand. Oh, right, I see. Ah, OK, OK. Next one. A wizard. Do you know a wizard? Harry Potter is a, oh, is a wizard, and so is Professor Dumbledore. He's a wizard too. OK, next one. To convince. To convince someone uh, means to make them believe something. OK, make someone believe something. And the last one, to threaten. To threaten. Um, it's difficult to explain, but let me give you an example. Oi, you! Give me your lunch money or I'll punch you in the face. OK? <laughs> I threatened you. All right, so let's move on to the article. And I'll read paragraph by paragraph. Please pause the video and repeat. OK, here we go. A first edition of a Harry Potter novel, one of only 500 printed, has been sold for £27,500 by Harry Potter. He was given Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone by his surprised father in 1997, when he realised it was about a wizard with his son's name. Mr Potter said he has spent the time since the book first came out having to convince people Harry Potter is his real name. People just don't believe me. When I was a young footballer, a referee threatened me with a red card for saying my name was Harry Potter, he said. When I met my wife, Philippa, on holiday in Greece, she didn't believe me either. OK, everyone, and that's from the October 15th article on BBC News. Great. Let's move on to the quiz. Number one. Why was Mr Potter's father surprised? Mm -hmm -hmm. Let's scroll up. We'll have a look. Why was his father surprised? Well, uh, his father was surprised when he realised it was a wizard with his son's name. That's pretty cool. Imagine if you saw a book and the main character had the same name as your son or daughter. That, that would be very cool. Number two. Um, what has Mr Potter been doing since the first book came out? Hmm. Let's scroll up. So, it says here... Mr. Potter said he has spent the time since the book first came out having to convince people Harry Potter really is his name. Can you imagine? Every time you say, my name is Harry Potter, people think you're joking. 
but no, really, my name is Harry Potter. <laughs> okay, now here's a conversation I made. First, please repeat. Okay, I think that's everything. Now just sign your name here, please. Sure, don't laugh though, this is my actual name. Harry Potter? Wait, your name is really Harry Potter? Yep, that's me, but I can't do magic, so don't ask. Okay, good job. Let's practice it together. I'll be A and you be B. Okay, here we go. I think that's everything. Now just sign your name here, please. Harry Potter? Wait, your name is really Harry Potter? Okay, good job. Let's change. You be A, I'll be B. One, two, three, go. Sure, don't laugh though. This is my actual name. Yep, that's me. But I can't do magic, so don't ask. Okay, well done. So finally, today we'll do these discussion questions. Um, number one, have you ever read the Harry Potter books? And what did you think of them? Pause the video and answer the question. Okay, as for me, yes, uh, I have. I've read all the books in the Harry Potter series. Uh, I really enjoyed them, but some of the books were a little too big. Very, very thick books. Number two, is your name common? And what are some popular names in your country? Pause the video and answer the question. Okay, well, as for me, uh, Nick is a very common name. My family name, Ramsey, is also pretty common. Uh, if you Google Nick Ramsey, you won't find me. You'll find a politician from Wales. And maybe you have heard of Gordon Ramsay. He's a very popular chef, uh, not only in the UK, but internationally. And we have the same last name. OK, number three. Oh, sorry. Uh, what are some popular names in your country? Let me show you quick because I, I wanted to Google to see uh, if it had changed. But no, at the top of the list in the UK, David Smith, David Jones, John Smith and Michael Smith are the most popular names in the UK. All right. Now, question three. Have you ever bought or sold anything in an auction? Pause the video and answer the question. As for me, I've never bought anything in an auction, but in maybe my first year in Japan, I bought some Pokemon cards and I tried to sell them on Yahoo Auctions or, or maybe eBay. Um, and I charged a really high price and I got a really angry message about that and nobody bought them. <laughs> OK, question four. If you were a witch or a wizard, like Harry Potter, what spells would you cast? OK, pause the video and answer the question. As for me, I would uh, take my magic wand and um, make myself young again. <laughs> yes, that's the spell I would cast. All right, everybody. Well, thank you very much for joining me in today's uh, lesson about Harry Potter. And uh, if you haven't, do read the book. It's very good. Try it in English. Also, you can find the article, the BBC article, a link to the article in the description below. OK, if you liked this video, don't forget to give it a like.
And I hope to see you again soon. Thanks very much.